Danny, can you keep that off so I can shoot the intro? Why don't you go outside? <laughs> we need like 30 seconds shoot an intro. All right, guys, no speaking, breathing. Marcus, no shitting upstairs. She yells about us not putting out good content and she doesn't even let us deliver. Like, my goodness, later. We have a couple announcements, uh, very exciting. We are doing a jump ship camp for 2022. A uh, real quick overview of what you can expect. First of all, you'll get one of these cool t-shirts included. You'll have to come out to Hawaii to visit us. On Friday, we will be doing a half a session in gym and then a hike. On Saturday, we will be doing another half a session in gym and then a boat cruise in the evening. And then Sunday, we'll be doing surf lessons down in Waikiki. So it'll be an experience that hopefully you won't soon forget. Also, uh, if you sign up for any jump ship program in the month of January, you'll be getting a free hat along with that. Pretty cool, we have several different colors. Also get your seven day free trial like always. So if you wanna join up, now is as good of a time as ever to get involved. And then in January, we also have the 100 points test coming back around. It's been over six months since you guys last tested it. Uh, it's a good time to test those benchmarks and see where you've improved and where you still might be behind with the open and quarterfinals coming. For those of you that are kind of in that upper elite, we have a new score sheet for you guys to have some more separation among some of the better athletes and we'll update our master score sheets as well. So even if this is your second time taking it on, you have some new things to shoot for. So our program, 90 minute program, uh, like probably three days a week ends with a workout that we label the finisher. And the finisher is supposed to be like super high intensity, empty the tank, it's movements we can do big sets of that kind of would blow you up otherwise and would steal intensity from longer pieces. So they're usually short and like to the point. So Danny, for whatever reason, loves to throw them at the team to start team training, which is the opposite of why we'd call it a finisher, but she likes to put them to the test, make them super fatigued, and then try to train the rest of the way, kind of overcome whatever challenges that it presents. But yeah, that's how we usually wrap up our 90 minute sessions, but today it's how we're starting. So the first workout they're gonna take on today is kind of a open style sprint, but it's a little heavier than you find in the open. So it's four time, 50 bar facing burpees, straight into 10 squat cleans, 245 for the guys, 165 for the ladies, and there's a six minute cap on that. At the six minute mark, they're gonna have 10 minutes then to find uh, a heavy complex of two squat cleans plus one jerk. So. We'll see how 10 reps of the heavy weight kind of translates over to help them either lift more weight or overly fatigues them and takes away their ability to lift heavy weight on the complex to fall. say you gotta want it, you sometimes still decide that you don't want it. Well, you psyched me out. Uh, okay, so you decided. I told you, I asked you, and then you came over and whispered, I don't want it, and I said, okay. I didn't want it. So, like, Everyone did remarkably out. well. I, uh, it's, it's fun to start a session with something like 50 burpees, because people's, if they haven't warmed up super well, their heart rate goes from zero to like 100 right out of the gate. And then you get that like panic feeling and do I want to hold this pace? And can I move heavy weight as soon as I'm done? And that's kind of a whole skill and like an acceptance feeling that you have to have as a competitor to be able to just get up and go and deal with the pain and the, the fear of how bad it's gonna hurt. And they all did super, super well. They all finished pretty quickly, so I was happy. So second piece of the session today is gonna to be some strict handstand push-ups and toes to bar. Three of each, six of each, nine of each, all the way up to 21. Now the caveat is we want unbroken sets here and we want them to do them you know, with a, a good plan because if you do break, a uh, 50 foot lunge just with body weight is yeah, your seconds or whatever penalty so to speak.
was a smart break right there. Yeah. That was good, uh, good thinking, breaking up that set of three. Awesome. Save those shoulders. Yeah, you know it. You know it. <laughs> Uh, so a lot of athletes are always asking how to build capacity in the tota bar and I think that starts by changing the way you think about the movement itself. A lot of people uh, kind of fry out at the hip flexors but realistically uh, a good toes to bar should be focused on the kip swing so a lat pull. So getting as far back behind the bar as possible with the head, neck, torso way behind that makes it much easier for you to bring your knees up and close the distance with your feet in the bar. So again building that kip swing getting far behind the bar should be your priority versus trying to build up hip flexor, you know, endurance in the tota bar. Uh, you see, you saw a lot of people kind of take that on here um, with the high reps. Again, if you focus on pulling up with your legs, the hip flexors, those will fry out. The lats, you can do a lot of reps with. You can look up and back behind, but if you just focus on getting your upper body behind the bar more uh, consistently, your tota bar numbers will increase. every time you shit here. So the last piece today is going to be a mix of some teamwork on the worm and then some individual rope climbs. So they're going to go through five rounds because it's five athletes. Uh, four of them will be on the worm, one of them will be climbing for max reps. They're going to go through, the four are going to go through a worm complex of uh, eight deadlifts, six cleans, and four thrusters. Once that complex is complete, the athlete climbing will then sub in for one of the athletes on the worm and that worm athlete will then go and start doing rope climbs. They'll try to accumulate as many rope climbs as they can as a team over five rounds, each athlete getting to climb once, well, they can climb as many times as they can once, while the others just complete the complex. On me you, or whatever. You felt it last round I was off the you feel it a little. It's almost like he has to start his squat and we have to wait, 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 and then go with him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that yeah, got yeah, messed yeah. up when two dudes were in the front and we got stuck like someone's about to drop it and I'm like whose ass is this and I look up and it's like I think it was Christian <laughs> I just held my breath and I was like without the bag imagine like the down there or something <laughs> it'll be a chain reaction I'll just like maybe like fart vomit another fart it's like so small it makes a big difference like don't show your pain. So many of you guys have like, I think Keiko actually does it best with yeah. like no yeah, emotion. I mean, you couldn't tell if Keiko was having the best day ever, the worst day ever. She yeah. like shows nothing on her face. But other people are like, once you start to externalize that pain, like it wears on other people and it wears on you a little more. Just like that extra second to just shut off the emotion and just focus on working. Christian is a pain face monster over here. He's <laughs> pain face when he just shows up here. He's crying. That's his regular face. <laughs> So we went through three pieces today with the team. It's about a 90 minute session, which kind of wraps everything up with what I talked about earlier. You only need about 90 minutes of hard work a day to accomplish uh, your goals of being competitive within CrossFit. Any more than that can actually be detrimental. So you saw the high intensity work they did, a mix of weightlifting, gymnastics, uh, everything else wrapped in there. It was, it was a really good session. I'm super happy with it. If you do want to try out Jump Ship for the new year, uh, right now we're doing the promo with a free hat. You saw Sign up uh, in the month of January. 90 minute sessions, we also have 60 minute sessions. Give it a shot, join us. Looking forward to a big year in 2022. All right, here we go. Ready? Shit, what was the third thing? <laughs> oh. 
I, I don't know, I get lucky sometimes. I don't have one <laughs> I can tell this is the content everyone wants to see. So here it is. Finally, we got our snippet of the day.